Coyote Feeder Design Company. So working on a couple instructional videos today. Basically got a customer in our demo room here, just kind of a mocking it up that would want to put a speaker in here. So ideally if you're a contractor, you're going to want to use a pre-construction ring so you don't have to worry about cutting this out. Now I did a four inch hole saw here for a previous video, but you can imagine that this is completely flush drywall. And now we've got to cut this opening in. If this was a rough in ring from Clips or Episode or, you know, Strong, you know, you name it, any of these companies, all I have to do is pull the speaker out and basically wire it in and install it. But now that it's not, I got to go through the whole rigmarole of taping this off, you know, making sure there's no joist or studs anywhere and cutting this in. So I'm going to treat this as if this isn't here and I'm going to work and it's obviously not a rough end ring and I'm going to use a bracket from Klipsch that actually is not a speaker. So it's a uh, pre-wire pre-construction application. So what you can do is if you're a builder and you're worried about rough and rings in because you don't want to sell the speakers, Klipsch actually makes a bracket for their speakers with a grill that the customer can put any number of speakers in here from $150 speakers all the way up to six, $700 speakers. And there's a couple other companies that make stuff like this too. Origin Acoustics is another brand we do. So what that does, if you're, again, if you're a builder, put those rough end rings in, in like the living room, kitchen, areas like that, and then drop one of these $40, $50 brackets in, and now your house is truly pre-wired for a speaker. You don't have to call them. They don't have to call you. You're not looking for wires. If they, for some reason, do have an AV guy come in and cuts the speakers in the wrong spot, if you're a builder, first people are going to call is you, and they're going to say, hey, why did my house get pre-wired? And second, they're going to say, well, my guy didn't know where the speaker was at. Can you come patch my ceiling? So you obviously don't want either of those. So I'm going to show you what one of these can do, and then I'm going to show you how we cut them in, and then I'll actually show you the function of this. So it's kind of a two-part, almost three-part video. Okay, so I'm back. I've actually was able to do an unboxing video on that SBR Pro rough end bracket. They make a six inch and an eight inch, and then Origin Acoustic actually makes a similar version all the way up to their big 10 inch speakers. So again, I'm gonna use my bag trick, get this thing unbroken out so I can use it. So the, again, I'm kind of struggling with these bags. I'm used to the Home Depot drum liners. These are thinner, less money. They actually do look like they're gonna work just as well. So I got my bag laid out, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take my template. And again, as I prompted the video, normally this wouldn't be a hole here. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace this out. And I'm doing this on purpose because obviously I don't want to leave a bunch of holes in our instructional area when we're doing some of this stuff. And being this is unboxed, I'm just going to give you a quick idea. Paint shield, grill. Then your speaker that pops in, get that covered up. Your speaker can go in any time. No worry about finding the wire. You're all set, ready to go on that. Then my next step is going to be to use my trusty blue tape. And again, I'm going to build a tent. Now this one I'm going to do a little bit different than my template. And I'm going to do it more like I did that can light there. I'm going to go real big tape pieces here. So 18 to 2 feet long. I always, like to put, I always like to wear a vest when I'm doing most installs. Gives you nice big pockets to work with. I don't recommend wearing tool belts on job sites if you're an AV guy because you're usually working on a finished home. What's going to happen with the tool belts? You're going to brush against your walls and everything. I see it happen all the time. Don't do it. And again, I'm going to go up here with the tape. And again, I'm just making a tent. I'm trying to keep it sealed as best I can. The higher end home and the higher end finish and the less work you want to clean up, the better you're going to end up taping it. So I don't really like the way that corner is taped. So what I'll do is I'll take piece of corner on there. But again, it's completely taped off and sealed. And I wanted that one big because I'm going to end up taking a keyhole saw and I'm going to do the same thing. So I always go at the bottom so that I can kind of work my way in. But again, I'm making a small little hand fold. You could even tape your hand off if you're worried about dust. And then again, I'm just going to take my keyhole saw. Now here's the thing, we've taped this off. What we're going to do, this falls, we're okay. I'm going to 
fall into our bag because we're holding this bag. And then again, I can just pull my tape off, grab my hand, and grab all the dust. So again, I've got almost no dust falling to the ground. And then our next steps are going to be to drop these in. So again, that should just be a nice fit in that hole. You just pop your wings out just by hand. So you'll see that the wings that actually hold the speaker are coming down a little bit. We do a little bit of dust on our hands. Then we're just going to take our impact and we're not even going to tighten these up all the way. We're not going to go crazy. Just enough to where the thing doesn't. Here's your magnet for holding your grill. I'm going to pull this up about three quarters of an inch. And again, this is on the clips one. I know Origin Acoustics makes them because I've installed them. I believe Sonance does also. And then you've got two methods here. I'm going to show you both. So if you were going to paint these speaker grills out with like, you know, buy some paint and spray them, but you're having your contractors still come in to do the paint shield. So they can paint right around here and not getting any paint in here, not have any dust drop down for the painters. And then in our case, we're going to put a grill on. So we've got a nice grill and a nice finished looking speaker. And if you look up in there, you can't tell there's a speaker not there. Because again, we're using the pro rough in bracket. So again, I take the camera right up to there. You cannot see through the back.